Hey there, Luke here, the director of Verta Studios. In today's development log, we have got a whole bunch to show off, including a brand new character select, main menu, heads up display, a revised, sexy, beautiful looking Jack Savage character, and a whole bunch more. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into the dev log. To kick things off, we've been incorporating our stylized theme into our user interfaces, starting with the character selection screen. Here you can see we've got bigger, more stylized buttons that show off the different character options, abilities, and a 3D render. We've also followed along with the new user interface style onto the heads up display, with the health and abilities having a more colourful, cartoony design in line with our environments and menus, and we've put a real emphasis on making the heads up display as easy as possible to read, with the abilities glowing orange when ready and large text telling the player exactly how long they've got left until they can use the ability again. And we've also matched the energy bar to the same colour as the gradients of the ability, so the player intuitively associates the two of them. Now, lastly for our user interfaces, we've also completely redesigned our main menu, with the blockier, more colourful style so players can easily go from one option to another, or even see news updates in picture form as opposed to our old text-based format, which was quite dull. Bigger image-based thumbnails will also make things easier to read and recognize, leading to a smoother user interface experience. Next up, we've spent the last couple of weeks redesigning Jack Savage to increase the level of detail and to match his clothing and body more to the lore of the game. We felt his existing body didn't show off the fact that he was a lumberjack by trade, so we gave him gloves that reflect the style, rolled up his sleeves, and even gave him safety boots. In addition to this, we've also worked closer on the veins to make them pop out and really bring that ember vein vision to life. In terms of gameplay itself, we've been working hard on getting Jack Savage's abilities to deal damage to the enemies, with Whirlwind, Dash, Slice and Dice all dealing damage. We've still got a lot of work to do on the animation side of things to add weight and really pack a punch, but for now, we think this is a really solid proof of concept. Now, moving away from the gameplay of Ember Vein, we recently attended Reboot Develop Red in Canada, and we showcased Ember Vein to industry press, gamers, and game developers alike. It was an awesome opportunity to get feedback, exposure, and most importantly, get some camera time showing off Ember Vein. And you guys can expect to get more hands-on experiences with Ember Vein prior to release at more conventions near you soon. With all of that awesome progress for Ember Vein out of the way, I also wanted to take a moment to say that we're still currently recruiting for our team and are looking to make it bigger with aspiring animators, sound designers, and 3D environmental modelers. If you guys are interested in earning some sweet, sweet royalties and joining a passionate, fast-paced team, then be sure to head over to our website, the link for which is in the description. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is everything for today's devlog. I'm really excited to show you all where this game is going. You can expect to see a brand new devlog for Ember Vane go live every fortnight with brand new content and development updates. To stay up to date, make sure you smash that like button and drop a follow on our social media pages. We are passionate about making this game something that everyone will enjoy. Having said that, if you have a suggestion as to where the game should go or something we should change, be sure to let us know in the comments down below. But for now guys, as always, stay awesome, keep creating.